It's amazing how much diversity you can find in a hedgerow, which supports lots of invertebrate diversity and then above that the bird diversity and other mammals as well. And in this one alone we've got oak here which supports things like jays which feed on the acorns and lots of invertebrates. Along here we've got hazel, obviously produces hazelnuts which is really good for lots of mammals and birds as well feed on it. Further along here we've got some field maple, you might recognise the leaves, they look a little bit like sycamore leaves, only they're much smaller, field maple, Acer compestry. And if you keep going along, Acer is our, our only native kind of Acer because sycamore is actually invasive, it's non-native. Here I think this might be purging buckthorn, we've got two different species of sort of buckthorn, named buckthorn in the UK, older buckthorn and purging buckthorn I think. This might be purging buckthorn, not 100% sure. Which is a nice species which produces lots of berries in the autumn. And then keep going along, I've got some more hazel. I'm actually in Normandy at the moment, so this is sort of cheating. But I've got lots of hawthorn down here, lots of spikes, which is good because it keeps out um, any predators and provides a nice home for um, birds and other, other things to make their nest. And then up here, Unusually, we've got a huge section of the hedge which is devoted completely to ivy. So this ivy is flowering at the moment. You can see these flowers are perfect for bees and other pollinating insects. And what I've noticed as well is we've got a load of ivy up on our cliff behind our house and the wood pigeons love sitting up there and blackbirds and other birds and eating the, um, the berries once, once it's finished flowering. You can actually hear the pollinators on it at the moment. And then at the end here, we've got this lovely spindle tree. You can just see the delicate pink flowers. There you go. As it's just coming into bloom. It flowers really late in the season. So yeah, there's actually some broom here as well, which is usually something you find in sort of upland in the UK, but yeah. And then a rose, lovely rose as well. There's some there you go, some hips on it as well. Great for the birds, great food for the birds. But yeah, just in a, what is that? 10 meters of hedgerow, we've got all of those different species. So, also got some lovely oak gauze here on this oak tree. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. That's where a parasitic species, like a wasp or something goes in, lays their eggs and then these um, swell up into these ghouls and they hatch out later in the year. Anyway, I thought that was an interesting bit of hedgerow just to see that amount of diversity in that small section.